Welcome to Spanaway Middle School, home of the Warriors. Come on in and see what's great about Spanaway. Hi, I'm Tammy Nelson and I'm the principal here at Spanaway Middle School. Welcome. This is a fantastic school and we are working hard to develop the character, confidence, and college readiness of our students here at Spanaway. There are about 700 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students here on campus each day. With over 42 teachers, it's a great place to be. We look forward to having you get a snapshot of what it's like to be a warrior. We teach our warriors to develop their character, confidence, and college readiness by focusing on what we call the warrior way. So students are working hard to demonstrate safety, respect, and responsibility. Well, they do that in our classrooms every day and around our campus, and there's lots of events and activities that make us very special. One of those is that we are a STEM school. We received a Lighthouse grant a couple of years ago, and now our focus is to integrate science, technology, engineering, and mathematics across the curriculum. So it's pretty exciting to see the work our students are doing. To highlight that work, we do a career day each spring. We had over 50 members of our community come in and share their careers with our students. It was a whole school event that captured what it's like to be a warrior in our community. We also had a chance to be a host school for the Japanese exchange student, where 20 students from Japan came and shadowed Spanaway Middle School students for the week. That was pretty exciting. We also have other events that keep us special. One of those is our weather balloon, which is launched every spring. So it's an exciting day to gather around the baseball field and the football field and watch that weather balloon, track its progress, and then search for it. Now, many people might say that Spanaway Middle School is really Spanaway Music School because we do have an incredible arts program here with choir, band, and orchestra. Our students perform on a regular basis in our building and across the community. We love to feature their, sh their talent and their success with the music program. This year we're excited to announce that Spanaway Middle School students were the District Battle of the Books champions. This was our first championship year. Our battle team read 11 books and were able to answer the most questions correct out of all the teams that participated in the event. So we're very proud of their work in the classroom as well as in the community. Way to go, Warriors. Hi, my name is Carly Rasmussen and I am the PE leader here at Spanaway Middle School. I'd like to tell you a little bit about how we plan to integrate the Writing for Focus into what we already do to support our students. We plan on integrating Writing for Focus throughout the day. Our school holds advisory clubs where students select interesting topics and activities to explore them with a teacher that is equally enthusiastic. We would start a cycling advisory club that would give a group of students time on the bikes for 20 to 25 minutes twice a week. The program rotates every term, so it would allow students around eight weeks of writing. Our special education and EBD programs will benefit from writing for focus by incorporating writing into the existing day. Our sped reading and language arts classes are blocked into 100 minute chunks and our EBD program is self-contained. Both of these programs allow for more flexibility throughout the day, which gives teachers the opportunity to provide their students with a break in normal instruction to take about 15 to 20 minute rides before returning to classroom and refocusing on work. Our PE program has already benefited from a safe routes to school bicycle and pedestrian safety grant. We have a safety course painted on our blacktop and access to a set of bicycles to use with the curriculum. Our access to the bike is limited though. The curriculum only incorporates riding two to four lessons and we only have access to bikes for about three weeks out of the year before they are moved to the next site. The Riding for Focus grant would allow us to use bikes in our regular curriculum year round. We are in the planning stages to host an after-school riding club that is sponsored by Cascade Bike Club. Cascade would provide paid ride leaders and anything else the club members need to get on the road. It would meet during the fall and spring terms. A major hurdle so far has been finding the funding for the bike fleet that the club would use with our students. These bikes would make this club a real possibility for our students. Hi, I'm Scott Birdseye and I'm the program champion here at Spanway Middle School. I've been involved in the cycling community 
in and around our area for several years, and I'm looking forward to making cycling safe and fun for the area's youth. In addition to the academic benefits, we hope the Writing for Focus program will help us achieve our goals of increasing the number of students who choose riding or even walking to school rather than taking the bus or being driven by their parents. We are confident that when enthusiastically motivated, our students will choose the healthier option to get to school. Before we get on the road, let's look at where we plan on storing our new bikes. We have a storage space in our commons that is currently being used to house janitorial supplies and chairs for community events. We are committed to making this space work because we know how important it is to incorporate cycling into our programs. So we'll move the chairs into another location and utilize this room for bike storage. We will install hooks to hang the bikes from to maximize the space. The Commons is as close to our gym as we can get without actually being in the gym. So students will be able to pull the bikes down quickly after their warm-up routine and get right on the road. This space is centrally located so our SPED and EBD students will have easy access um, to the fleet throughout the day as they need them. Now for a quick ride to see the routes we plan on using with our students. This route takes us on a tour of the SMS parking lot before heading on a short jaunt on the street and a turn back into campus, around our bus lane and back to the start. This route should take students about six to eight minutes to complete and is a great warm-up ride to assess skills and rider safety. SMS is lucky to share a space with Thompson Elementary School. On this ride, which we could run on its own or as a continuation of the route before, students will explore the parking lot area around Thompson before another quick turn onto the street, asking students to turn left twice, which will help them practice that skill. The route is about 10 minutes long, which combined with the ride before will give students close to 20 minutes of riding in a safe, contained environment. This route is about two and a half miles long and should take students about 20 minutes to complete. It is entirely a road ride and covers an area that is not heavily trafficked by cars. This is the route that I am most excited about students riding because it will help them grow as cyclists and build the skills that they need to ride on their own. When I take students on this ride during our advisory club time, I plan on utilizing my LCI training to help them build the confidence they need to be successful. I look forward to seeing our PE students riding this route on a regular basis before moving on to a few more challenging routes that we are planning to work into the program moving forward. We have some other routes that we are planning on incorporating into the program as students become stronger cyclists, including a hilly ride on the streets just south of campus and a few neighborhood rides um, nearby. All of our rides will include some sort of warm-up, followed by self-assessment and a lot of fun. We have several bike safety courses painted on our blacktop. Um, these courses were used in conjunction with the uh, Safe Routes to School Bicycle and Pedestrian uh, Safety Curriculum that we received as part of a grant from the Washington State OSPI and from Cascade Bike Club. Um, we hope to incorporate the use of these safety courses into the curriculum provided by the Writing for Focus program. Hello, my name is Jay Brower, Director of Community Connections for the Bethel School District. Hello, I'm Michael Sander. I'm the Director of Arts Education and Curriculum Integration, and I am the one who supervises the curriculum side of health and fitness. And I just want to thank you for this opportunity to apply for this grant. We recently received a grant from OSPI for, uh, to, to purchase a fleet of 25 bikes and a trailer, but our district is so large we have seven middle schools and that just isn't enough bikes to go around and so we are really looking forward to this opportunity for more bikes to increase uh, our opportunities for, for students to, to have this, the chance to learn about bike safety and uh, be involved in this program. And like Mike said, we live in a community that is in unincorporated Pierce County. Um, we have about 113,000 members in our community, uh, 27 schools, 19,200 students, 
and it covers an area of about 202 square miles. We don't really have any public transportation to speak of. We have very few sidewalks, we have very few parks, um, and frankly not a lot to do for our teenagers. And so to have an opportunity like this to um, augment some of, the, some of the things that they can do is just um, so much appreciated. We um, would like to thank you for the opportunity and let you know that we'll do everything we can to involve our teenagers uh, in these activities. Well, hello! My name is Tori Grant and I am the manager here at Old Town Bicycle. We have partnered with Bethel School District for several years, providing service for their current fleet of bikes and supporting the Bethel community by providing free bike maintenance at their community events. We are excited to continue our partnership through the Riding for Focus grant. Thank you for this awesome opportunity. <laughs>